Hey everybody, welcome to my first formal review on the Captain Nav's channel. As many of you are probably aware, I've done a lot of uh, informal first impressions videos of a lot of software over the last couple of years, but I seldom uh, revisit a product for full review. But today we're going to be reviewing Pushback Express from FS2 Crew. Pushback Express is a utility designed for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it also works with Prepared and FSX, though in a slightly more degraded way. More about that later. Please note that I have personally only tested this with Prepared version 4 as well as Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I couldn't tell you how well it works in other versions of Prepared or FSX. In the interest of full disclosure, the software for this review was provided by FS2 Crew. After purchasing the software, a simple installer program is downloaded and run on your computer. The installer is quite small, about 50 megabytes. Installing the software was quick and easy, and since the software is a standalone application, it can be installed anywhere on your computer, not necessarily within your SIM directories. The documentation for this software is very simple. 10 pages with lots of images that I read through in less than 5 minutes. The software is controlled by a series of buttons, and though not all the icons are immediately intuitive, they all have tooltips associated with them. I managed to master using the interface in less than 10 minutes. Pushback Express directly controls the pushbacks in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It uses the default tug models that are in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so while you won't see any new tugs, you will see the tugs connect and disconnect to the aircraft properly and move around in a somewhat realistic fashion. The tug will automatically be appropriate for the size of aircraft, small electric tugs for your light aircraft, and full-on heavy tow tractors for your airliners. One of the best features of Pushback Express is that it features three modes of operation rudder control, button control, or distance mode. The mode is selected before you start pushback in the Pushback Express options menu. To start a push, you simply press the start button in the Pushback Express window or the linked hotkey within the sim itself. A short pre-recorded conversation will instruct you when to release the parking brake to commence the pushback. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight tech. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. In rudder control mode, when you release the parking brake, the tug starts pushing in a straight line. Pushing your rudder control axis within the simulator, i.e. your rudder pedals, will allow you to control the direction, turning the aircraft as you push. Options in the menu will allow you to adjust the rudder axis sensitivity and even reverse the tug steering direction before starting the push, so that you can control the tug intuitively from either an external view or while sitting in the flight deck. Additionally, moving your elevator axis during the push will speed up or slow down the tug. You can even switch to pulling by slowing down using the elevators. After slowing down completely to a stop, if you continue to hold your elevator axis, the tug will accelerate in the opposite direction, allowing very complex push-pull operations. In button control mode, instead of using the rudder, a series of buttons appear on the Pushback Express window. These can be used to control push direction and change speed throughout the push, including changing from push to pull. This mode is not quite as intuitive as rudder mode, but it's a sensible option for any pilot who perhaps does not have a pair of rudder pedals. In distance control mode, you specify a distance to push back and a direction to turn ahead of time. The entire push is completed automatically. I find this to be the most challenging mode as the distance is simply a slider in the external program and there is no way to see where the aircraft will end up in the sim. You really are just estimating. But this can be useful because it is fully hands-off and allows you to focus on starting the engines during the push instead of focusing on pushing the aircraft itself. Regardless of the mode chosen, a stop button will slowly bring the push to a stop and end the pushback procedure with a few more pre-recorded conversations to complete the immersion of a full pushback experience. Pushback complete. Set parking brakes, please. There is also a kill button built into the Pushback Express window that does exactly that. It kills the control from Pushback Express and brings the airplane to an immediate stop without any further voice interaction. It's mainly meant to be used just if the program has somehow gone awry. One of the other great features of Pushback Express is the numerous different voice packs that you can use. FS2 Crew has even gotten innovative enough to allow separate dialect selection for the flight crew and the ground crew. So, for example, for a British Airways flight in Barcelona, you could select a UK air crew and a Spanish ground crew. The included languages currently are the US, UK, Australia, Asia, German, French, and Spanish. And for German, French, and Spanish, 
you can opt to have English with the local accent or even speaking the local language. There is some additional functionality to FS2 Cruise Pushback Express where you can control the aircraft door and the jet bridge without having to utilize the awkward interfaces within Flight Simulator itself. Though simple, these add some much needed functionality to the simulator. As a bonus, Pushback Express is backwards compatible with the prepared and FSX sims, though in a slightly degraded form. Since there were never any built-in tug models in the P3D FSX world, no tug will appear during pushback. However, Pushback Express will still function just the same, just without the visible tug. Rather than give a total numerical score, or a definite buy or not buy recommendation, instead I'm just going to list three greatest strengths and weaknesses of the products I review, and let each simmer decide for themselves if they feel this software will be useful to them. Pros Very simple external interface. The simplicity of the Pushback Express program is its greatest strength. New users, and especially people new to the simming world who perhaps joined us with Microsoft Flight Simulator, will learn how to use it in 10 minutes or less. Plenty of language packs. The variety of languages available helps with the immersion, especially the combination of different languages for flight crew and ground crew. Compatible with all aircraft. This utility simply communicates with the internal pushback system built into Microsoft Flight Simulator, so it will work for any aircraft in the sim, large or small. Cons Slightly expensive for the functionality. While this is a great piece of software that does exactly what it promises, it only performs a very single limited task. Compared to other past FS2 Crew software releases, which are much more complicated, I feel the price point for this is just a bit too high. If you pick it up on sale, and it's on sale as I make this video, it's going to be worthwhile. I also expect that FS2 Crew will probably continue improving the software and adding functionality over time, which will improve the value equation over time. Interface appears very dated. The interface in Pushback Express is extremely basic and functional, but between the icons, the coloring, and the style of the interface, it feels very outdated when used in conjunction with a brand new simulator with a very modern interface. The Pushback Express interface does its job very well, but could just use some aesthetic improvements. Fortunately, FS2 Crew does have a reputation for updating and improving their products over time, and I'm optimistic that they will improve the overall look of Pushback Express's interface in the future. No way to estimate where a distance push will end up. Because it's so hard to judge the distance behind you, the distance mode is very difficult to use accurately. If there was some way to draw a target or ruler within the sim, that would make the distance mode much more useful. Pushback Express serves a much-needed function by improving on the simplistic and awkward pushback system built into the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. It was great to see FS2 Crew so quick out of the gate with software supporting this new simulator, and I hope they continue to release innovative new products to improve the usability of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Pushback Express is available now and sells for €24.95 and can be purchased on the FS2 Crew website at fs2crew.com or through Aerosoft Just Flight or SimMarket.